Now to remembering the man who many say was the greatest player to ever grace a baseball field. Willie Mays passing away at age 93. Will Reeves joins us now with more about this incredible career and legacy. Good morning, Will. Good morning to you, Michael. His peers, baseball historians, and fans across generations agree Willie Mays was a singular figure in the story of baseball and thus the story of this country. The ultimate combination of speed and power, grace and joy, Willie Mays will be remembered forever. Overnight saying goodbye to the Say Hey Kid. It's gone, it's a home run. Willie Mays, one of the greatest baseball players to ever live, died Tuesday. Born in Alabama, Mays began his professional career as a teenager, starring for the Birmingham Black Barons of the Negro Leagues. I had to stay in school, so I played Saturday and Sunday when school was in. When school was out, I would go on the road with them. The day he graduated high school, he signed with the New York Giants, becoming just the 10th black player in Major League Baseball. Number 24 in your program, number one in your heart. Willie Mays. For the next two decades, his accomplishments staggering. Willie Mays gets a great ovation from the crowd. Two MVP awards, 24 All-Star games. His first hit, a home run. He would hit 660 of them in his career. 2-0 delivery, and Mays sends another one. It's going and in 1954, he won a World Series championship, punctuated by perhaps the most famous play in baseball history. There's a long drive, way back in center field, way back, back, it is long. Known for eternity as the catch. Mays missed nearly two full seasons at the beginning of his career when he was drafted into the Army during the Korean War. Years later, Mays returned to New York to finish his career with the New York Mets. It's difficult right now to even uh, try to explain to you how much I love baseball and how much baseball means to me. I think we, we had what you call uh, a love affair. He was known for his all-around brilliance and the joy he showed in playing Mace hits it in the left field and, goes and brought to fans who came to see him. Every time I went on the field, I enjoyed what I was doing. I gave everything I had. In 1979, Mays was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame, Major League Baseball later naming the World Series MVP award after Mays. Overnight, the Giants chairman saying Mays had a profound influence, not only on the game of baseball, but on the fabric of America. As we remember Willie Mays. Ballparks across the country pausing to pay tribute to Mays, including Rickwood Field in Birmingham, where it all began. We will always cherish the memory and life of the great Willie Mays. Willie Mays was 93 years old. And Mays' death comes amid Major League Baseball's celebration of the Negro Leagues at Rickwood Field in Birmingham, Alabama, that very place where Mays' career began. Tonight there's a Juneteenth celebration, and tomorrow the St. Louis Cardinals will face Mays' San Francisco Giants, guys. Mm. And I know, Whit, you grew up yeah. in the San Francisco area. Yeah, as a Giants fan, the other Giants, right, Michael? I mean, yeah. as a fan growing up, going to the games at the park, I mean, they named Oracle Park, gave it the address, 24, a Willie Mays Plaza, the big statue in front. His legacy just loomed over everything. Yeah. There's an icon in every way. Say, so played for, he had joy, and he made it look easy. Mm. Absolutely. <laughs> made it look easy. I mean, what a man to catch. Yeah. Never forget.